All right, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to another episode in the adventures of Svenolf the Mountain. The first Nord, the first caveman to set foot in Calradia in a thousand years, two thousand years? I don't know if we ever set a time frame on that. So, today we find him kind of adventuring around a town. Uh, Aphanis, um, the, oh my god, the dwarf in the back there, Jesus, he looks tiny, is uh, showing Svenolf around, and to be honest, last episode, Svenolf, there's no easy way to put it. He's balling now. He made, well, free balling, if you look at his outfit. Um, but he made <laughs> all kinds of money. We're, we're kind of rich. And Athanus is trying to convince him to put that money to good use. To actually invest it, you know, buy a business somewhere. Um, and I, I don't think Svenolf fully understands the concept of capitalism yet. Uh, but we're working on it, you know, and Svenolf's mind is like, so hold up, let me get this straight. I'm paying someone to create something for me for less than they could get from just selling it? Why would they do that? Why would anyone do that? That's a terrible idea. But you know what? It just, Svenolf, it just works, baby. It just works. So let's, uh, I actually don't know all the changes that they've made with workshops. So let's talk to this guy over here. Lerosian f fish sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, whose who's last name is Fish Sauce? He's a gang leader. Okay. Uh, welcome, stranger, to my little kingdom here. Who might you be? I'm Svenolf. What's your name? I'm Lerosian. There's some who know me as Lerosian Fish Sauce. That's a term of respect, by the way. Fish Sauce? That's a term of respect. Dude, whoever was bullying you as a kid and told you that was lying. Alright, man? <laughs> a term of respect. Uh, I've heard of you. Okay, alright. Word of the naked, angry man who's been dominating tournaments and recently started raiding villages has spread. Good. You sound like a good man to know. Alright. Uh, I wish to buy your brewery. I'm willing to excel. It will cost... Ooh! Huh. 26,500. Um, alright, that's a bit more, I thought they were more like, in the, like, around 15k range, but this one might just be more expensive. Um, or they up the prices, also that. We've, so we're sitting at, yeah, 15.7k right now. So obviously we don't quite have enough. Um, hmm. This is something we should be able to get pretty soon, though. And I would want to do a little bit of research, I don't know if this particular brewery is the most profitable although part of me does seem to think that Svenoff would want to buy a brewery first that is a little bit of ale is something he understands very well i think a good goal for this episode would be uh to have enough money by the end to buy a workshop so with that being said what is the plan for this episode last episode we finally trained up an army and raided our first village and it went i'll be honest Pretty well, all things considered. However, our quest from Ragavand says that we need to raid two more villages in order to get the payout. And boy, is it a big payout. 15 grand. I mean, shoot, just turning in this quest, just turning in this quest gets us a workshop. So that's the big goal for today. If possible, I'd also like to raid a caravan, but that is not as important. Not quite as profitable. Um... And then I'm thinking, because some of you guys have been asking in the comments, like, dude, what is, what is Svenolf going to put, uh, <laughs> when is he going to put some clothes on? Um, soon, alright, fine, soon. At least this episode we're going to keep him, you know, all natural. But, uh, yeah, pretty soon here we will go ahead and, and start equipping him, getting him some armor. Uh, oh, we have a point in one-handed here, alright, what is this? Cavalry, your one-handed weapon damage is increased by 5% while mounted. Cavalry uh, has increased 5% melee damage. Or, reduce the effect of wielding a shield on your combat movement. Hmm. I don't see us fighting on horseback. I think we're going to go with shield bear, even though we're not using a shield currently. We might use a shield in the, in the future. Actually, wait, no, didn't we get a shield? I think we got him a shield specifically for these big raiding battles. Plus having our troops be a little bit faster. I mean, that doesn't, I guess it's not great. We can always uh, retrain this later on if we uh, so choose. 
So, last time we raided, <laughs> we raided Remtol right before we flipped Remtol Castle back. Uh, so those are our constituents now. We they just um, might not be too fond of us. So, in order to get some new Vlandian villages, we're going to run over here and see if we can't find anything. I think that's the move. No, I, to be honest, I wasn't even looking to see... Uh, ooh, 18 looters. I think our troops could still use a little bit of leveling. Yeah, fuck it. We'll do a little, do a little warm-up battle. Um, ooh, this is a lot of them. I love it. I'm down. 22 versus 28. We love that. I will apologize for uh, it being decent while in between episodes. Um, it's because I was gone this past week. I was up at, uh, well, some of you will know my my roommate, Sean, a.k.a. Uh, Big Poppy or Irish Nips, if, uh, <laughs> depending on, on what you remember him as. For those of you who are new, uh, you know, don't worry about how he got those nicknames. To be honest, I'm, I'm not entirely sure either. Come on, let me get somebody. No? All right. Let's get off here with our troops and join in the melee. Ah! Goodbye. Ah. I I forgot we're naked. Last time I played was uh <laughs> was playing the uh the hardcore Iron Man stream on uh on Warband. Oh fuck, they killed our, our Sea Raider chief. That's no good. This guy was actually decent. Oh, Oh man, that that highwayman just got clobbered off his horse. All right, good stuff. How do I get my horse back? Isn't there a way to call it? Pretty sure this is the uh, the highwayman's horse, but we'll take it. Yoink! But yeah, so I was up with uh, with him and some uh, buddies from high school at uh, at his cottage up north. It's on a, a big, massive lake in northern Michigan called Black Lake. The surface area of the lake. I looked it up is 40 square kilometers. That's that's massive. That's such a big lake. All right, we did have a good amount of level ups, but it did come at the cost of us losing a Sea Raider Chief. But our very eggs leveled up. Also, thank you guys uh, who mentioned it in the comments. These very eggs. Do I want more Druzenics? I don't have any Druzenics. I thought I had a Druzenic or two. Tell you what, we're gonna keep him as a very egg veteran for right now. Uh, anyways, these Otrox and Variags, I completely forgot, there are noble units. How, like, household noble tier units in, uh, in Bannerlord. Kind of like the Batanian champions, like the Fion champion line, uh, back in Ron Baringsworth's season. So, yeah, these guys, very good, and we need to pick them up whenever we see them, at all costs. There we go. Alright, so, oops. Start moving this way. Um, oh yeah, by the way, right before... Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, the Qzates just declared war on us. Holy shit. Okay. Alright. Um, well, right, as of right now, we're pretty evenly stacked. But, um... Hmm... Hmm. We don't we also don't have a lot of overlap, I guess. Yeah, there are ways to get in over here on this front. That's a completely different side of the map that we are not on. I wonder, does our quest also apply? No, it, it has to be Vlandian villages. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. That is a uh, a change in development. Okay. Anyways, what I was going to say is um there was an update to the game, I think the 1.8 that we're playing on, which was the beta, all those changes have officially been made into the uh, the main branch of the game. Oh, hello. I saw a Flandian caravan right there. Hmm. Add 40 though. That's a bit. That's a bit too much. Also, we probably shouldn't. Oh, hello, friendly lord. We probably shouldn't get into a really tough fight right now. Because we only have 21 troops. And here's the thing. One of you guys told me in the comments, and it makes total sense. The raiding speed in Bannerlord is directly proportional, proportionate to the amount of troops that you have. 
It, like, honestly, I, I don't know why I didn't think of that before as to why it took so long for us to raid a village last episode. It's because we only had, like, ooh, hello, 21 looters. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and pick them off. One more good uh, training session for the boys before we go in for the uh, the big hits in the heart of Landia. Um, but, yeah, we only had, like, 10... No, nah, we had more than that. Like, what, 15 troops last episode when we were raiding? And, uh, yeah, it's going to take 10 or 15 dudes a lot longer to clean out a village than, uh, you know, 100, 200. But, unfortunately, I think our max size right now is like 40. So, even if we could get that many troops, we would not be able to, uh... Come on, Jesus. I cannot hit the broad side of a barn right now. Alright, that's fine. These training battles are meant for my troops, not for me. I will take a few pot shots. Where are my guys? Oh, there they are. Hello. <laughs> was, where are my guys? Turns around. A pack of heavily armored angry Vikings is <laughs> right next to us. Hey, it's good as long as they're on your side, you know. It's like, uh, you know, the difference between having, a, like, in real life, and like, an angry biker that's, like, there to protect you versus... An angry biker gang that's angry at you. Very large difference. But what I swore that went through his body. Somebody get him. Someone get that dude. Aphanus? Aphanus, this is your chance to prove yourself. You literally just rode right past him. What are you doing, Aphanus? Alright, thank you, Highwayman. Someone kill him. Is this guy actually gonna... Can I speed this up? I'm not, I'm not sitting here waiting for one more guy. Alright, how many level ups did we get there? A couple, a couple decent ones. Alright, another Variag veteran. Got a couple Sturgeon soldiers. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, these are the guys where we have to choose whether we want to send them down the, uh, the Axeman route or the Line Breaker route. We have three heroic Line Breakers right now. Here's my concern. We're going to be going up against potentially some fairly large militias that all have a bunch of ranged units. And we're already going to probably be outnumbered by some of these guys. I think we need more shields. I'm worried for these guys. <laughs> I know they're absolutely devastating when they get up, up close and personal, but I am worried they're not... They're going to be heavily damaged if they get up close and personal at all. So... Yeah, I think we're going to get some more Axemen on the way. Variag Veterans. Oh, that's right. Okay. Actually, I'm curious about something. 4.72. Oh! Oh, it does make... Oh, it makes a fairly large difference. 0 0.05. 0 0.04? Okay. I, I had been kind of wondering that. So, like... We have a bunch of horses that allow, like, our infantry to move faster over the overworld map. But even with us having a horse for every single infantryman, it's not as fast as converting an infantry into a cavalry. Plus, I mean, just <laughs> look at these chads. Holy. That's, that's pretty nice looking. That's some good armor. And they have another upgrade that can become champions. <laughs> That's looking like a Vager unit right there, to be honest. Like a Vager knight on steroids. 200 one-handed, 170 riding, 170 polearm. My goodness. Oh my god, That's and that's like way above just the regular Juzenix. Now, the question is... Yeah, it takes a warm it takes a warm out. You need a special horse. And if I remember correctly, those horses are gonna run you at least like a thousand. At least a thousand. So they're a good unit. They're just a little pricey. Got these black screens. Alright, moving on with our merry way. So, uh I'm sorry, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed, uh my voice is a little hoarse now. That's because uh I just ran out of time trying to record this Friday night. Um, due to the the update that came out that I was hoping was going to get rid of those black screens, but no, it didn't. 
Um, I, I uh, ran out of time because Saturday I had an all-day volleyball tournament that I had to be up at 7 a.m. for, which was a blast. We had a great time. Um, unfortunately, we finished just outside of the money, um, but still, it was, a, it was a fucking great time. Um, but as a result of that, I am absolutely wiped. Like, my body is just wrecked right now. I, <laughs> I like, sitting, like, standing up and sitting down takes time. Like, <laughs> I have to be very careful with it. My, uh, my voice is definitely a little raw. Uh, I've been trying to pump the water. And, uh, Jesus Christ. 54 defenders. And the villagers are in as well, so that's 80. Holy shit. Alright. Well. It's not ideal. Not ideal. Um, okay. <gasps> Ooh. Yo, they took... Oh, they took Varchek. I have a... I have an idea. Are they raided currently? Would, would, would we even know from this distance? I don't know if they show us that. They would. We would be able to see that they're raided. Um, okay, here's the thing I was kind of worried about over here on this side of the map. These villages haven't been raided in ages. So they have massive garrisons. On top of that, the enemy has so many... So many towns close by, like there's guaranteed to be a lord near the, here. The move might be. I, I thought it would take longer for them to flip some of our castles, but now that they have, the move might be to just raid our own villages. I it's ch it's cheeky. All right, I understand that it's cheeky, but I think that might be the best, easiest way for us to try to pass this or finish this quest off. Because this, this ain't going to cut it, man. I can't, we can't, look, are we better than them? Yes. Can we beat them at 4 to 1 odds with few casualties and do that twice? Minimum? Assuming no lord comes to interrupt us? I don't think so. Alright. Change of plans. I'm going to hustle on over there and try to raid our villages before one of our lords does it for us. Holy shit. I was just stopping in a, uh, in a random Batanian town. I was kind of hoping there was a tournament going on, but it's nighttime anyways. I checked out their shop. Look at this. Imperial chargers count as war mounts, and they're only 250. That's amazing. So I just bought a bunch of them. Six of them. So that's enough for potentially six Druzinic champions. We're not gonna get that many anytime soon. I don't even do we even have enough of those noble tier units left? One Otrock. Two veterans. No, we have five. I think that's just five, right? None of the rest of these guys are... Yeah, I think that's just five of them left. All right, that's awesome. That's sick. Okay, keep it moving. Come on. Bring us home, baby. Ooh, hello. <laughs> if they flip Remtol Castle, which it looks like they are in the process of doing, we could potentially raid them again. These guys are going to hate us. Remtol, we are going to be the bane of their existence, but we could do it. Also, this is good for us... These guys are busy. They're preoccupied with a siege. They're potentially not going to come stop us from raiding Car uh, Cargrev. Or Rodabas. Rodabas. Okay, random villagers. What the fuck are you doing out here? Dinan? Oh, I guess this is... Varshag is now kind of the closest town for them. Rovalt's on the other side of that mountain range. Ooh. That is a hike and a half. Kind of feel bad for him. Okay, okay, what are we what are we looking at here? Only 22 defenders. That's beautiful. Their villagers are out of town. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh god, what is <laughs> So one man last stand against Durther? Two two fifty? Alright, uh maybe we wait for them to get the fuck out of here. That does not seem like a Oh no, we just lost so many people. Oh, so many of our lords just got wiped, and they immediately sign a contract. They sign some more mercenaries, the forest people. I, you know, I don't think things are going well when you're signing the forest people. Stop, stop the villagers. 
No! Wait! Oh, no! They made peace! After we just got our fucking ass kicked. And I don't get the money for the quest, do I? Oh, you... You bastard! Come on, I should at least get 5k! Ooh, I don't like that. I'm not happy about that. Hmm. Ragavan, you piece of shit. This is, uh, you know, this might be the, this might be the first, like, the start to, uh, the unraveling of their, uh, their, their relationship. He, uh, Svenolf is not gonna take that slight. Kindly. He's not, not a fan of that. Alright. Oh, <laughs> look at all these Otrox. <gasps> Beautiful. Alright. We're buffing up a little bit. We got some more units. I'm going to train these guys up. Damn, this just got a lot harder. I need to... I still need to make 10k this episode if I'm going to... If I'm going to get ourselves a workshop, huh? Damn it, man. That, to be fair, there was no shot... That only took us a couple days to travel up here. There's no shot we raided to... We would have... Even if everything went perfectly and there were no lords nearby... There's no shot we were going to be able to finish that quest by raiding these villages. I think... Honestly, we got very lucky with with uh, raiding Remtol. Um, I, I, I think the AI, for whatever reason in Bannerlord, is way more likely to try to stop you from raiding villages than it is in Warband. Alright, Ragavand. How much, uh, how much do I get if I join your army? It's been off. It's been a while. So you weren't able to complete that task? Something. Sometimes these things are out of our hands. Sometimes not. But let us not dwell on You made peace! I was working on it! Oh, you... Ragavan, you son of a bitch. I'm... I'm heated. I'm not even... I'm not even the one he wronged. He wronged Svenoff. I'm heated. Okay. This son of a bitch. Did he just... Who, like, who are you? Uh, I'm not sure if I can rely on you. I've never even heard of your clan. Bitch, you signed the contract. You... <sighs> mm. Fuck you. I'm not I'm not joining your goddamn army anymore. No. No, no, no. Have, have fun. Do it yourself. Fucking bastard. Fucking bastard. Alright. Is this the, uh... Oh, this is the storyline quest, right? Isn't this what that is? Rescue, yeah, rescue your family. Alright, hey, fuck it. We're gonna go ahead and do this. I, some of you guys in the comments were talking about, um, apparently, if you complete the main storyline, you get your, uh, your brother and your sister, and they're pretty decent units, and they don't count towards your companion limit. Um, so essentially, it's just free heroes. So, definitely worth doing. Alright. Finally arrived. I have a few things to say before we attack. We have to be clever. Gelter is a cunning fellow in a low and base kind of way. I assume base, base is different than based, huh? Okay. All right. I defeated you before. I know how your gang operates. Less talking, more raiding. All right. All right. Lead on then. Oh, fuck. We just missed Nightfall. And we're already 100% HP for once. Uh, very, very rarely happens with our, uh, avoidance of armor. Maybe we could have fought some more looters. Oh, boy. These guys, seems like they have a lot of dudes in here. Uh, Drusinix, I do not want to risk you getting taken out. We will go ahead and bring, uh, the veterans. Get a spearman. Not the line breakers since they don't have any. They're already maxed out. I don't want to bring them. Let's bring some of the new boys. Worst case scenario, they die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe worst case scenario, they die. All right. Let's get in there, champs. So I don't know if this is going to be a harder one than usual or or what. I mean, normally we just go in and do this by ourselves. But 
I have a feeling this might be more than usual and that I don't want to fuck this up. So we'll, we'll actually bring in backup support for once. All right. Man, winter really came fast, huh? I know what that's like. Hey, yo! <laughs> oh, hit him in the neck. Good. He's hurt. He's out of here. Hill man. Thought I saw there was another guy. There he is. Can't see him in this fucking bush. Yeah, how'd that, how'd that shot taste, huh? Oh, what the fuck? Fuck out of here. Alright. Tell you what, go ahead and follow me, boys. How many are we up against? Ten more. Okay, so this is a decent sized one. I'm not seeing anything out of the usual quite yet. Hmm. Oh, by the way, while, while we were up at uh, at his cottage, uh, <laughs> we watched uh, Prey, the new Predator movie, which, I, I mean, I, it was kind of mid. Like, it was alright. The action scenes were alright. But there was a lot- Ooh, nice headshot! Oh, and this man's throwing rocks at us, look at that thing. Embarrassing. Um, but it kind of reminded me of Spenoff, just because they're fighting with, uh, you know, bows and, like, Axes, hatchets, kind of like spent off the spears that they're throwing. Nah, it's all me. Don't worry, boys. I got this. Daddy spent off has this. But yeah, the trip was only supposed to be a two-day thing. It's supposed to be Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe we leave Thursday morning. But they showed up, our friends showed up randomly, Monday, a day early at our apartment. And they're just like, oh, we're bored, so we came up here, we're gonna chill. That was when I was planning on recording this episode. Um, that way you guys would have something during the week. We end up staying until like like Thursday evening. We finally make it back. And they don't leave. They, they're they just like, oh, let's, let's spend another night here. Go ahead, hang out, keep on drinking. I'm like, bro, it's been, it's been four days. Go home. And so they're still hanging out. They stayed Thursday night. Uh, Friday morning, most of the guys left, but then, uh, Kat, my, uh, one of my co-workers, she stayed, and, uh, her and my, my roommate, Sean, ended up watching, there's this show on Netflix, uh, that Sean and I had seen a couple episodes of, it's called Indian Matchmaker, and I'm not even gonna lie, it's very entertaining, it is incredibly entertaining, um, they watched that from noon, until 9.30 today. She finally left at 9.30, like four or five days later. So that's that's why I was uh, initially trying to record this so late um, Friday night, but then I, I just ran out of time. I would have been, if I, had, if I had tried to push it and record the full thing, I would have been a wreck on Saturday for my, uh, my tournament. But I'm gonna make it up to you guys. I'm going to make sure to get a, a lot of episodes out for you this week. We done? Ooh, okay, okay. Galter, huh? Bastards, you're the kin of my captives, right? I saw Radigos with you. You know he can't be trusted. He led us here. We're my brothers and my sister. Nah, there's no more talking. Kill me, or I kill you. That's how this ends. Have we met this guy before? Uh, I'll do you the honor of dueling you, and my men will stand down if you win. Alright, sure. Yeah, fuck it. What? I blocked that. Alright, well. Thank God we tanked it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was a big shot. All right, good work, good work, good work. Everybody celebrating, having a good time. Did you get anything for this? Ooh, yeah. All right, that'll at least be some good money. 5.7 influence is not too shabby. Oh, yeah. All right, nice. Uh, prisoners? Might as well, right? We can always recruit the highwaymen, and I think even that mountain bandit. 
boss potentially. Yeah, good stuff. All right, more heavy axemen. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the show, essentially, I and I didn't realize this. Yeah, I mean, I knew that uh, a lot of uh, in Indian culture, like arranged marriages, are a thing, but I I didn't realize it's not it's not forced. I, hold up, give me one sec. Look, we can still talk. I'll give you the pouch of silver. I didn't kill him. You said talking was a waste of time. You are Radagos's property now. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, all right, Radagos. Shit. Nose on. Svenolf, I knew you'd come. Great heaven. Damn, brother. Nothing can stop you. I love you, brother. Uh, okay. So glad to see you safe. Is uh, is everyone okay? Did you also get trapped in icebergs and wind up waking up a thousand years later? How did this happen? Uh, Alishka and Fodor are scared, but fine. We need to be quick and get the hell out of this place. I'll take Alishka and Fodor to Omar immediately. They'll be safe there. Is this... Okay, so we've got a little brother and a little sister, huh? Why is everyone blonde except for me? Okay, this... Our father, they did a good job. He does kind of look like a caveman. Mom, not so much. Yeah, what... Mom, what... Alright, what happened here? Why is everyone blonde except for me? Was this like a... A milkman incident? Were you not, were you not faithful? What happened? Alright, meet me there later when you're ready to tell me everything. Alright. Okay, then Radigos comes to talk. Uh, look, we've gotten your kin back. End of our deal is complete. I'll make myself scarce now. Don't let your conscience bother you about letting me go. I won't go back to slaving. Burn too many bridges with my old colleagues, as you might say. I'll find another way to earn my keep. Mercenary work, perhaps. Your men killed my parents. Do you? Did you really think you would not be punished? Okay, that... It, see, this whole storyline... Is not happening. <laughs> that makes no sense with with uh, Spedoff's background. All right, let's get out of here. Good stuff, though. Um, all right, yeah. Let me run around, try to find some more looters, probably win a few tournaments, see if we can't get up to the amount of money we need for uh, a workshop by the end of this episode. What the fuck was? I just heard baby noises, and then all this popped up. Um. Alishka has reached the age of 14 and she needs your guidance. Is is this like some Crusader King shit? What? Yo. Oh, this is this is neat. Oh, this is new. This is awesome. Okay. At her 14th birthday, you gave Alishka a special present. Uh, you've seen her treasure it and believe it will shape who she is. You give her a well-balanced... What the... F <laughs> what? what in the King Arthur shit is this? Why is it... Why is the sword purple? Okay. Oh, this is cool. All right. Ooh. Okay, so wait. Naturally, without anything, she is good at smithing. An engineering, good with a bow. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to think here. If I remember correctly in Bannerlord, your party has certain roles. You can have a medic, a like your scout, your engineer, your healer. Or, well, your medic, yeah. Um, your steward master, quartermaster. So I believe what we're going to want to do is focus her down a specific path. Presuming that we're planning on her being in our party for the foreseeable future. In which case, having a really good engineer, which she already seems fairly predisposed to, is would be great. Also, she's starting out as a good smith, which mean, uh, that adds to um, us wanting to keep her in the party so we can use her once we get more into the smithing grind. Uh, what else is there? Tactics, archery... And was that charm? Okay, yeah, let's do the treaties on Siegecraft. 
In adolescence, she began to take on serious responsibilities and compete with adults as a near equal. She managed to... Nice. Fencing, racing, craft. Craft a weapon is engineer? Oh, it's coming together. Dude, she's not even a, a playable hero yet, and she has three focus points in engineering. What else do we have? Healing, crack shot, and traitor. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Outside outside events also intruded on Alishka's adolescence. You believe she was particularly shaped by a local rivalry. This event increased her skills to one-handed and two-handed? I don't mind that. See, here's the thing. If we want her to keep leveling up, like, her total character level, she's probably needing to get some kills on the field of battle. So I don't mind her having a little bit in various uh, weapons categories. Wow, this is great. This is a great... Um, I'm assuming that's RNG rolled. Maybe it's the same for everybody. Nice. All right, good stuff. And then... What, Fodor now? All right. You are usually away from your estate, but when you are able to spend time with Fodor, you encourage him to develop his... Okay, he seems like he's a scout. Very much like he's a scout. Okay. Strength gives us vigor, endurance... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Hmm. I'll be honest, I'm not super thrilled with how he turned out. A lot of control, which is a trash skill to... Or trash attribute to have a ton of points in. I don't even think... Well, he has a different option than uh, than Alishka did, but I didn't see any that would give her scouting. I, I don't remember. Alright, well, we might have to do... He might... He might have to be like a scouting tactics type of, type of build. I don't know. But yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot here that impresses me. Alright. Uh, one day, child asks you which of your skills is most useful to you. <laughs> Definitely not polearm. Alright. Um, yeah, I, I guess we have to go tactics then. It'll be a tactics scouting guy. I don't... I need to look up some more of uh, Strat Gaming's guides on the different skill trees. Um, and what is actually useful to have companions with them. I would assume tactics would help to some degree. But that might only help if they're leading their own army, would be my guess. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. When spending time with the child, you notice he shows real ability in scouting. Amazing. He is at home in the wilderness. He moves like a cat and has very keen ears and eyes. You know what? I'm totally happy with that. That's great. He's going to be a good scout for us one day. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Awesome. All right. Hey, that's that's really cool. I like that they have that. And I'm guessing they had different... Can I... Give me one sec. Yeah, look, they're at different ages. That's why they had different options. Um, so it looks like you probably get to do that a couple times during their childhood as they grow up and you meld them into the hero you want them to be. That's that's such a fucking good change. That, oh man. It, that's taking Bannerlord one step closer to, uh, to being like Crusader Kings where you actually fight and like are... And more in control. That's so cool. I love that. Alright, beautiful. That's the first tournament victory. Unfortunately, there's only two lords in this one. So, I think that's a pretty shitty reward. Um, but there's another one. It's going up at... It's going on up at Vor Varchag. The uh, Vlandians took the town from us. Immediately made uh, Ragavan bend the knee. And then they're like, let's throw a fucking feast in this new town. You know, a little housewarming party, huh? Alright, how much... Uh, how much do we get off of this? Um, by the way, I did, I did remember how to do this. I just hadn't been, because it it's kind of annoying, but uh, a bunch of you guys were leaving me comments talking about, uh, come on, lock it, lock it. All right, all right, there you go. Uh, we don't need any of this. Uh, this 748, it's not, not awful. Not awful by any means. And it's not next episode yet, because... Next episode, Svenoff will start wearing some uh, some armor. But until then, not happening. Uh, 
Ooh, hello. Hello. I didn't realize we still had this thing. Sword seems pretty good. 114 length for a one-handed weapon is no joke. Hmm. Well, too bad uh, we're not <laughs> we're not using those yet. All right. Good. Good. Cool. Got sell that off. What do we uh, What do we get here? Ooh. Little athletics, huh? All right. Four percent with all melee weapons and troops deal two percent more damage. Over the no shields or when you don't have a shield or ranged weapon equipped, you gain 5% movement speed. So essentially just when we're running around naked with just our axe. And our infantry gains 3% movement. And no, damage. Definitely take the damage of all melee weapons. Yeah, definitely take that. And this focus point, we are actually going to put into steward since we are, I think, essentially at the learning cap. So yeah, let's go ahead and up that, um, because this is such an easy skill to level up. Such an easy skill to level up. Um, in fact, how are we doing on food? We have some butter, have some cheese, Have we have meat. These guys kind of seem to be struggling over here. I'll take give me a little bit of that. Hmm. They don't have many different types of food here, huh? Oh well. Ooh, tons of hardwood though. Um I want to start doing a little more smithing. So we're gonna go ahead and get a bunch of this. We have we have tons of carrying capacity anyways. And we're not gonna be raiding someone, at least in the immediate future, so might as well do this. Keep on training up our smithing, getting some more XP. Beautiful. That actually deals with a lot of the uh, the weight issues. All right, all right. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's go try to crash this housewarming party. Oh my sweet Jesus! Look at how many Vlandian lords are running into Varcheg. This tournament is gonna be stacked, bro. <sighs> how many is that? Eleven lords! Holy shit! My goodness! And we get a heavy nasal helm over mail for the victor. That, that doesn't sound that great of a prize for... Eleven lords! This is... Bro, this is the champion... This is playoffs right here. This is the most stacked tournament we've seen to date. Fifty... I retract my prior statement. 51 head armor? Maybe I just don't... Maybe it's been too long and I, I don't have the, the right reference range, but um, that seems insane. It's a tier 6 armor. I didn't know they went that high. Holy... Sh okay. And of course, it's a bunch of 1v1s to start it all off. We are up against a lord. Okay. A Fainus, no shock, it's knocked out. It's essentially going to be all lords. Except for, there's going to be one scrub that gets through this round. Inric. Thoman. Durthurt. Durthurt gets wiped out in round one, you fucking scrub. <laughs> By a sharpshooter, interesting. Okay. We have a pretty, if we can make it past this round, we should have a pretty clear path to the finals. If we, especially if we can snipe Thomond out in the next round. If we can make sure he's one of the first two to go down. But first we have to get past this guy in a 1v1. And I don't know, what is, what is the weapon choice going to be? Throwing axes. Ooh, okay, he's over here. Okay. Ooh, we nearly dodged into it. How many, why does he have so many throwing axes? All right, here we go. Bro, why does he get so many? Oh! Boom! Why did he... Did we get... No, I can't... 
Oh, he's probably got a perk. He's got a he's got one of those perks that allow him to carry more throwing weapons. That's bullshit. So the tournament organizers were just like, "What's that? You want you want like 12 axes? Uh, we normally only give 3 to Okay, yeah, sure. Here you go, mate." <laughs> okay, Liana and Roman, one of them are who we would potentially face in the finals if we get there. I don't want to I don't want to jinx us. Also, did the odds did the betting odds just get better after we won the first round? Why? Wh how? How does that make sense at all? <laughs> okay. We need to play this one smart. Oh, bro, he's running like a fucking truck at him. Stay alive. Stay alive, green. Actually, I don't need you. Turn around. Turn around. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. The plan's working! Yes! <laughs> oh, how'd we do that? How'd we get away with that? Oh! <laughs> Bro, Enric was swinging at me and hitting... hitting Thoman. <laughs> yes! Alright, we gotta face one more lord in the finals. This Enric guy does not seem that great. What do we got? More throwing weapons. Fuck, so that means the lord we go up against is gonna have the throwing weapon perks as well. Okay, that was a good shot. Good shot. Okay. Alright. Alright. Here we go. It's time to put up or shut up. This would be big. I want this helmet, man. I want this helmet so bad. 51 head armor. Starting next episode, we're gonna start suiting Sven off up. And, uh, honestly, we could even, I, you know what, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves if we lose, if I do, and we lose, it's going to be heartbreaking. Okay, okay, you know what, I'm down for this. I almost feel more comfortable with this than, come on, swing. Okay, good shots. Good shots. Yes! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Holy shit! I I I don't. Is there a, a wiki for Bannerlord? Is this like, is this close to the best helmet in the game? Because that's what it feels like. That's what I. That's what I choose to feel right now. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I'll save the idea I had for the next episode. Uh, as for the, uh, the reason that, uh, Svenolf was gonna start wearing armor. That's so cool. Dude, can I... Let me check this out. What are they, armor-wise? Dude. Whoa, bro. 26,000! It's, it's worth 26,000! Oh! Oh my god! This helmet, this helmet costs 105,000 and gives 49 head armor. This one gives 51. This is the, I'm, I'm saying it, this is the best helmet in the game. It's the best helmet in the game. It's just how it is. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, fucking sir. That's, that is amazing. And we're going to sell it off in order to buy a, a, an Enterprise. No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Okay. That's awesome. That's so cool. I'm so glad we won that. That was... Uh, I I think that tournament could have gone so much worse. So much easier. All right. Unfortunately, that means we didn't really make any money because we're keeping the helmet. Um, Give me one second. I'm going to go scrounge up some funds. We will buy our first Enterprise. And we will then wrap this episode on up here. And we just made peace with the Cusates that fast. All right. Well, I think I only need, like, one more tournament victory, and we should have enough. Um, we've started quite the collection of expensive things. That, that, the ambassador. Is that it? I thought I won more than three, to be honest. Okay, yeah, we need at least one more tournament. And then uh, we'll head back up north and... Uh, I should probably do some research into what 
Enterprise is the best to buy, but we might just play it by ear. And now there's a new war with Batania. All right. Awesome. Well, it, hey, you know what? Honestly, is at least there's going to be some more action for Spenoff next episode. We <laughs> we know that now at least. Um, do we want to do this in? Where do we? Hmm. Hold on. Give me a sec. Let me check out what uh what everything like what's produced around here. I don't even know what kind of workshop we want. Well, I'll tell you what, let's walk into Omar. Let's see just what there is, period. Um, and also, let me pull, let me pull up a wiki page on uh, Bandlord and see. Alright, so I did some looking around. There's a couple grain villages that feed into uh, Omar here. Which means they have everything we need to make Svenov's favorite resource. Beer. Or probably ale? Not actually too sure. What the fuck? Let me in! Is this not... Is this not the tavern? Or is this not the... I thought this was a brewery. It is a brewery. Who do I need to... Oh, is it this guy? Oh, I need to talk to him. Okay, so it's this... Oh, okay, I, I see, I see. Alright, Vidar the Brewer. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Svenolf. Okay. I heard you caught some bandits. Speaking as a merchant, we appreciate any efforts to make the road safer. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, how much for your brewery? I'm willing to sell. Okay, 21,500. Oh, Lord, that's a good chunk of change, but yes, I am willing to pay. Well, then we have a deal. I will instruct my workers that they are now working for you. Good luck. All right. Is that, uh... Uh, okay, that's pretty, um... That was easy. <laughs> the workers are just like, yep, we, uh... I guess we work for you now. Okay. Um, I'd like to ask some questions. Uh, what do you produce here? This is a brewery. We malt, mash, ferment grain to brew beer. The most popular beverage for the common people, especially in the northern lands. Alright, how do workshops work? We take raw materials, produce goods, and sell them at local markets. After paying the wages, we send profits to the shop owner. Okay. I'd like to change what you're producing here. No. Okay, never mind. Keep it up. I like to sell this workshop. Oh lord! Wow, that's worse than like buying a new car and driving it off the lot. Fuck, man, we just paid twenty-one k for it. Did we get scammed? Maybe, maybe. That's the right call, boss. You should never let go of a good investment. Damn right. A famous? Did we just get scammed? What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> All right, lads, we're gonna end this one off here. Sorry for the long wait once again. Um, I am gonna. I'll be, I'll be showering you guys with some extra videos this week. Um, the normal plan is going to be two to three episodes a week. Uh, this, the, this week should be a little more than that. Thank you again for your, patient, for your uh, patience. As always, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we have going on right now. And as always, take it easy.